Well, Tom and Rick, there is a lot of excitement and anticipation here in Toronto for this wild card game. And Mike, you know, nationally, there's a lot of talk about maybe this isn't fair because one of these teams, the season will end today. It's a one and done format. However, in talking to some of the Orioles players, I don't think they feel that way. No, I don't think so either because they kind of looking at this as a game seven, right? They've been through this for the last two weeks. Every game is of crucial importance. And I think what makes this game so intriguing is really both teams have been through this. Mm -hmm. You know, they've had their ups and downs through the season they've had to battle their way through to get into this wild card game you know through the month of September and into October now if you look back since this format began in 2012 three of the wild card teams actually reached the league championship series and in 2014 it was an all wild card world series when the Giants beat Kansas City so there is some history there that one of these teams could say you know what that might be us this year yeah you know if you come in with the right attitude and say, yeah, we've been through the grind before. Like we've heard so many of the Orioles talk about the last couple of weeks, it will benefit you. you got to look forward to these type of games, this type of enthusiasm and adrenaline. The Orioles have been through it. They've been a successful team three of the last five years. They're familiar with the postseason. They've got a hardened group of great veterans that have been through it. They should be very comfortable in this game. Well, the Orioles come into this game having won seven of their final nine regular season games, and a key to that was some of the big bats got hot. Well, you got that right. I mean, J.J. Hardy, Matt Wieters, Jonathan Scope, Trumbo getting hot. But what a lift it would be if I'll take Chris Davis and Adam <laughs> Jones, who have had great numbers here at the Rogers Center in their career, if they lifted it up a little bit. Just a couple hits, guys, right? Because uh, Adam Jones has made a huge impact in the leadoff spot in this order, and Chris Davis, we we know about his power one swing could change the game and you know if you're a believer in the law of averages and you know I am I think Chris Davis is due 59 at bat since his last home run you're right tonight would be the night to break out well it sure would you know and I'll tell you what Chris Davis has done though through the month of September is starting to hit the ball the other way mm -hmm. so he's getting more familiar with the bat head when he gets that down he puts on a show like no other It'd be great if he could heat up here starting in the playoffs now Chris Tillman makes the start it's a 10-man roster for the pitcher side two starters in the bullpen as well with Ubaldo and Dylan Bundy, uh, but the Orioles are hoping they don't even have to consider using Ubaldo or Bundy. They want Tillman to go out there and pitch like the ace that he's become. Yeah, Chris Tillman has been the Orioles' ace and has been for a number of years now, and this has been a sensational season for him. What a first half he had. Some bumps in the road, but he's been battle-tested as well. You look for him. Once he can get a run a roll, he gets through that first, second inning, Chris Tillman could throw a potential complete game. I mean, he's big in these type of situations. They're hoping he steps up as the number one, but definitely Ubaldo, you Jimenez, who's helped lead them into the postseason, right. who's been so strong down the stretch, is right there waiting in the wings. And if the Orioles have a lead late, the Orioles, without a doubt, have the better bullpen. Absolutely, hands down. Zach Britton on the end of the bullpen. That should make everybody in the Orioles clubhouse feel good. I know right now that the Toronto Blue Jays structured their starter, starting Stroman, so that they could have Liriano come out of the bullpen, maybe not even go to their right. actual bullpen. And Tom and Rick, one uh, unusual sidebar of this game here tonight is one of these teams, after the game, will head to Texas. We just don't know which one. <laughs> right. So you kind of have to prepare for that, right? Both managers really do. But I'll tell you what, they're just focusing on this ball game. Right. The team that scores first, I think, will definitely have the advantage. So we're getting closer to first pitch time. It's the Orioles and the Blue Jays in the 2016 wildcard game. Let's send it back to you.